Today we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled Action Figure Review, and it is a special one today, man. We have the two new Walmart exclusive AEW Unrivaled figures from Jazzwares, and they are on Eddie Kingston and Chris Jericho. These are in full supply at my Walmart, man. I mean, they are absolutely stacked out. If you missed our toy hunts, the last couple toy hunts, we noticed that my Walmart was carrying these, and they are just filled to the gills with these figures. So you should be able to find these, man. They are Walmart exclusive, and you should be able to get them in person. I don't know if people are ordering these online or not. I don't even know if they're available online. I'm sure they are, but nonetheless, man, I like the look of both of these figures. Now, not a ton new going on with some stuff, but it feels like yesterday we were seeing all of our ringside exclusives from AEW and Jazzwares. We were seeing our Walmart exclusives, and now all of it is pretty much out to us, so it's kind of crazy, man. Still on the hunt for the damn Supreme CM Punk, but here we are, man. Today, we're looking at the Eddie Kingston and Chris Jericho. More excited for the Chris Jericho for obvious reasons, but front viewing window looking good here. We do have a new head sculpt going on. I've been very excited here. Such an intriguing and an interesting Chris Jericho looking figure, right, man? I mean, I like the purple going on. I like the gear and everything going on. I said going on like four times, excuse me, but standard unrivaled packaging, and then it does have the Walmart sticker at the top right there, which uh, hopefully we look upon fondly when we get to the future, but 134 on the back, you get Jericho Le Champion there, and clearly a darker purple represented from the figure itself, but, you know, I still think it's toyetic. It doesn't, you know, it's not the biggest deal. I guess you could paint it if you wanted to, but here's Eddie Kingston looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Self got his t-shirt in there. Kind of reminds me of a Shop AEW exclusive, which we might have uh, some potential AEW Shop exclusives kind of leaked out there, which we'll have to see. But 135, 134, and then on the back we do get Kingston right there. Looking like, I don't know, somebody just assaulted his bowl of cereal. I don't know. Nonetheless, man, that is pretty much your packaging for these Walmart exclusive AEW and Rival figures. So with that being said, let's crack these two out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and see if they are indeed worth a damn. Alright man, so while we wait on the new rotating base to arrive, this is what we got. It's pretty John Brown boring, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't I don't like it like this. So static, very just trash. So I do apologize for that, but here are both figures, of course. Man, you guys know how these things work, right? We're gonna go through the, the intangibles of the figure. We're gonna dive into it, how they move around. I do have my gripes with both of these figures, which we're gonna go into, of course. But let's dive into Eddie Kingston accessories first, and then we'll dive into Eddie Kingston. Then we'll run it back to take a closer look at Chris Jericho's accessories and the Chris Jericho. But I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with both of these guys right now. We'll see how that fares as we go, but shut the hell up and get into it. All right, man, so getting into Eddie Kingston's accessories, you get a decent amount, and again, man, it really reminds me of one of the Shop AEW exclusives, and oh my god, I just noticed Eddie, Eddie Kingston's signature on the back, and I thought that that's good stuff. All right, man, so the first thing you do get is the Eddie Kingston t-shirt right here, very synonymous with, again, Shop AEW exclusives, but I do love cloth goods. I just don't like cloth goods that stain the hell out of the figure, and this figure stains. This figure does stain, unfortunately, man. It, it does stain, so if you're gonna get this figure, I'd leave it mint on card, or I'd leave the shirt on it. Just put the shirt on there and never look at it again. And pretty much, I mean, this is the last Eddie Kingston that we just got. It's the same thing except with a shirt and some accessories, which, you know, it's Velcro. It's a nice shirt. I like it. You know, nothing crazy, but I, I'll throw it on my Eddie Kingston figure. I have no, you know, big deals about that, but I don't like the staining, man. I do not like the staining. Next up, we do have his Eddie Kingston hat, which I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a New York Yankees hat. Now, I know this is like sort of an old English type font, but on the back, you guys can see this is like a new era fitted hat, and it does have where the MLB logo would be, except they can't put the MLB logo, but I still think this is supposed to be a New York Yankees hat, and it fits the figure pretty damn well, I'd say, and it looks good on the figure, like, this looks pretty sweet, man, look at that right there, you put that on there, look at that right there, he looks like he's gonna beat the hell out of you, so I like that, and then you can push that forward, and it also looks good right there, and I put it on a John Cena figure, just for shishes and gigs, and it looked really damn good, too, and speaking of which, here is one of the head sculpts, you have, like, the grimacing head sculpt, which is personally my favorite, I love the way this looks, but the hat looks really damn good, man, I'm really, uh, digging the way this looks here, and then we have, like, the straight, like, determined face, which also looks really good. I think both of these head sculpts look really, really good as far as likeness, and then it also comes with this white bandana that actually has the bandana pattern on there, which is something I feel like we don't get a lot, and it fits the figure well, too. So, yeah, I mean, this guy gets some pretty good accessories, I think. You know, you're just messing around, like, mixing some different figures together. You can kind of find your Eddie Kingston, but both of these look really, really good, man. I, I appreciate these a lot. Kind of wish he had a more of a shaved head look than the darker hair right here. Like, if it could have been, like, buzzed looking, I think it would have been better, but I appreciate both the head sculpts, the bandanas and the hat. And then his last accessory is going to be his beaded necklace, which is a bit thick, but it's not the biggest deal ever. I still like it, and I think it, you know, it's it's solid enough. I, I'd rather have it than not have it, so the beaded necklace looks good. But we have seen this before. 
All right, so getting into Eddie Kingston himself, starting out at the top of the head sculpt. I like this head sculpt. I can't remember if the original Series 9 came with this head sculpt or not. I want to say it did, but I could be wrong about that. But head sculpt looks solid nonetheless. You know, it's just a stern expression, which I like. But, I mean, this figure is the exact Unrivaled 9 figure, man. I mean, you're not getting a whole lot different. Again, here is the staining, as you guys can see. I feel like originally when I showed, like, it's worse in person than it is coming across in the video. But, yeah, I mean, there's definite staining here. It is the yellow and black singlet and then he does have you know the like lion or the griffin or whatever the hell it is on the back right there thought that was a tattoo for a second nope just some more staining you know but he's got the white wrist tape black you know roman reigns style pants it's nothing like terrible or egregious but it's the same exact figure this figure was made for the shirt i mean this is a shirt and hat figure i really wish they could have changed the gear it really would have been nice i mean what is a simple repaint but i guess i don't know man you do get some cool accessories and stuff like that maybe you missed out on the original eddie kingston i don't even know what that goes for but yeah i'm still not big on the build of this figure you know i felt like his last figure or whatever i know it's not, like i wasn't a fan of the original eddie kingston figure in terms of like his stance and the, the size of him and the proportions and things of that nature but as far as your figure comparisons are concerned this is the comparison this is the og figure right here and this is the uh the redo right here and they're the exact same and there i mean there's nothing different right here again maybe the head sculpt maybe a new head sculpt and some accessories but that's what you're getting with this figure you're not gonna shatter the earth with with any groundbreaking differences, man. This is pretty much the basis of it, and you know, I guess, I guess it is what it is, but I don't know. I feel like this figure could show for him a while, but uh, I definitely prefer the Jericho compared to the Eddie Kingston, but nonetheless, man, that is pretty much your Eddie Kingston, man. I, I think you're looking at a more accessory driven release from AEW and Jazzwares. Alright guys, so getting into Chris Jericho's accessories again, not a ton going on, but similar to Eddie Kingston in the fact that you get a necklace, you get a bonus item, a couple interchangeable hands, you get the deal. What kind of AEW Unrivaled figure review would it be without the existence of the all-knowing AEW microphone, man. We've gotten a hundred of these. I think it's fair, you know, this this from this segment and the times he's wore this. He's usually cutting a promo, so this makes the most sense to me. And it's an easy accessory to throw in there, even though I do give him a hard time about it. It just seems like every figure there for a minute was a damn AEW microphone and everything. Found it in my Halloween candy one year. Then we have this necklace here, which I thought originally was like two separate pieces here, but you guys can see that it is a dog tag necklace, similar to like Mattel's John Cena, and then you have a cross necklace underneath. And it kind of looks like a T instead of a full cross. You guys can see it looks like an uppercase T, really. But when you have it on there, it's not, you know, it, it looks pretty good, like double stacked here. But it's a two piece necklace that's stacked on top of each other, and his long hair covers it, so you can't really see the full thing anyway. And then we have seen this hand mold before. It's the gloved hands here, but they mo they are molded in the purple color, like that light purple, even though, again, they're more of like a dark, desaturated purple. But I don't hate these hands. And then last but not least, we get one gripping hand or mic holding hand, and then you do get a pointer finger here on this hand, which I like a lot because you can point at people and you guessed it, tell them to shut the hell up. Alright, so getting into the Jericho figure, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, a lot of mixed opinions on this head sculpt. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I'm actually a fan of it. I actually like the likeness that you're getting here. Maybe the eye shape could be a little bit different, but in terms of looking like Jericho, I think it looks like Chris Jericho. You know, I, I don't think it's perfect by any stretch, but I like that we got a different look. It's no longer the yelling head sculpt. I mean, my god, how many times can you get the yelling head sculpt? You know, we had that little bit of the bubbly, goofy smile. We had that grimacing, pissed off head sculpt. Sculpt, and then we had the yelling head sculpt for a long time. Now we finally have a, a you know, one-of-one one original figure here with the head sculpt, and I like it. I think it does look like Jericho. Again, not perfect or anything like that, but he looks pretty good. There's the necklaces coming down, and then he does have his open jacket right here. It's like a leather jacket that he was wearing, and it looks pretty good. Again, the purple's not really accurate unless they just got, you know, the, the wrong time or they used the wrong image on the back of the packaging, but the zippers and everything like that look really, really good. I like the sculpts on the sleeve here. You do have the undercut there. They even had the tattoo there, which is a very nice detail having his sleeve continue. You have the wrist gauntlets. You do have his gloves on there. Very toyetic figure, man. I mean, you got a lot of good stuff going on here. I really like these legs, too. He's got, like, these skinny jeans on and the black with the purple belt. Very quality here. He's got the upper thigh cut. You get that, like, padded knee thing they do to joggers. You guys know what I'm talking about, or they do to pants most of the time. He does have shin cut, which I like. And then what's really cool is they do have, like, I'm pretty sure these are Nike Vapor Maxes or something like that. Like, Nike Air Va Vapor Maxes or something like that. And they do a really good job of getting these one-on-one -one sculpts, and they look like the actual shoes. Like, the new Daniel Bryan that's coming out soon has the On Clouds, like the Navy On Clouds. I think that's so genius. So having these shoes here and being a sneakerhead and being a fan of shoes and, you know, things of that nature, I think they did a really good job there on the sculpt of these. Of course, you can't put the swooshes, but, you know, what are we doing? Now, in terms of this figure's articulation, I think you get some really good stuff right there, man. You get the double-jointed knee, the upper thigh rotation, the lower shin cut, like, a 
really good. One thing I don't like is that the ankle pivot just seems to be a little bit stiff. It's not the best ankle pivot, and the feet don't go up that much. They go down pretty decent, but as far as ankle pivot, it's kind of there, but it's not as good as I would like it to be. Shoulders are pretty buttery smooth. You get the double jointed arms in there. Decent little ab crunch right there. Yeah, not not bad at the slightest, man. Not not bad at all. I actually like this figure a lot, and if I had to, I, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, I definitely prefer this over the Eddie Kingston, which, you know, this is much more toyetic. It's a lot of new sculpts, so that would make sense to me, but I do want to get into some Chris Jericho figure comparisons before we uh, wrap this thing up. Now, this is not every single Chris Jericho release from AEW and Jazzwares, but this is a pretty good amount of them, you know, as far as, like, the standard releases and things of that nature, but breaking it down here, man, you do have the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly. You have the Unrivaled Series 1B figure here with this fixed skin tone and then the Amazon shirt put on there. You have the Unrivaled Series 8 in the back. You have the new Walmart exclusive in the front, the Shop AEW exclusive with the Le Champion shirt on here. You have the Amazon exclusive with the pink jacket like the accessory pack Jericho. And then you do have the Unrivaled 6 over there, which of course we are missing some of the chases. There are a few chase Jerichos that we do not have here, but those are basically just shirts. They're not like, you know, in terms of designs of the figures, they're not a lot of differences there. So yeah, this is pretty much every Jericho that we've had. And then we do have the prison suit Jericho that's somewhere I can't find at this juncture. It's somewhere though. I definitely have it. I just don't have it for the video. But yeah, I'd like to know down below what your favorite release Jericho is so far. And are you glad that he's no longer yelling? I think that's a big stride that we've made here. But I am happy to have this new Jericho. I think it stands out above the rest for sure. But anyways, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this two-in-one review, man. God dang, not having the... I'm going to have to just upgrade the shish here, man, because I don't have the rotating base and it makes me sick to not see the figure just sitting here rotate. You just freaking rotate. You just freaking... Huh. <sighs> But nonetheless, man, these should be hitting your Walmart stores. You should be able to find these relatively easily, I would think. But I hear all the comments all the time. You guys are absolutely trashing your local stores, and I absolutely feel you. I feel like the last, like, year or two, my stores have really upgraded and gotten really better. So I don't know what the... I don't know. I guess it's just sort of just what pock luck you get. However, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up the review for the AEW Unrivaled Walmart exclusive Jericho and Eddie Kingston figures, man. Let me know what you think of these figures down in the comment section below. A huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys for their continued support on the channel. Always love and appreciate every single one of you guys. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much. Leave me your thoughts on all this stuff down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later and damn. Gotta find me a new rotating base.